look at the old grand, the scoreboard there yes. with, the, with the scouts. Yes. On them. Yes. Well, I tell you, when I when I was doing my last one, uh-huh. they, they they always put a light on over the number when it when they got to Governor's Bridge. That's right. Why, yes. Do you know why they've stopped doing? I don't know. But maybe there isn't time to put the light on. Because my days. dad <laughs> used to get my dad used to get so fired up. He'd say, yeah. uh, "The light's gone on. That's I can right. see Jeff coming down the road now, and all that sort of thing." <laughs> My father was a professional racing motorcyclist. He won the 1931 lightweight TT. I have 15 TT replicas of his at home. And when he retired from racing, he became the BBC's motorcycle racing commentator. A climb of 1,400 feet up the mountain. The great punishing descent. I used to listen to your father on BBC yeah, bless uh, years ago, bless him as you yeah, say, yeah. and I, I, it caused me to become so enthusiastic about the TT. I started racing motorcycles to be like Dad, and I was not good enough to satisfy myself. So I managed to get an audition with the BBC, and as a result of that, I started commentating. seen history today 130 miles an hour John McGuinness the first man to crack that figure well this is an absolutely magical moment for me it's a long time since I've been to the TT and what a fantastic time to come back because this race the senior TT has been the climax to an absolutely superb week of racing and we've seen John McGuinness do the first 130 mile an hour lap of the TT course and from someone who saw the first 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100 mile an hour laps, that's something here it is! So the brilliant, magical Isle of Man has done it again at its centenary meeting. We came here hoping that it was going to be better than ever and that's just exactly what it's been. The weather has been superb, the racing has been magnificent, the victories have been incredible and John McGuinness has undoubtedly been the man of the meeting. Yet another win and most magical of all, that first ever 130 mile a nap. Incredible. fancy myself on this. You know, Carl Fogarty's just done 170 miles an hour. I might be able to manage about 17 miles an hour, I think. Fantastic bike. Pump me up, Barry. 